So, Ryan Garner, how are you? First off, how are you feeling? How does it feel to be back at your call? Yeah, it's good. Um, I had my debut here, what, I had my debut here about, I think, eight years ago now. Now, obviously, my stable mate Jordan's had a debut here, so it's good. I've like, boxed here a few times as well. It's a good, a good atmosphere in here, so it's good to be back. It was a good scrap, that, as well, wasn't it, from, from Isaac? How did you feel watching his debut? Yeah, obviously, I've done a lot of rounds with Johnny anyway, so I know what he's about. He can bang, do you know what I mean? I know what he's about. I've shared the ring with him in, in the gym. He helps me prepare, get ready for my last fight. I went with him prepare. But yeah, he's a very good fighter. He's still young, he's only 18, but he's got, there's a lot to come from him. What would your assessment be of that fight as well in terms of what you saw? Was you, you've got to be happy with that. A win is what you're looking for on a debut, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, everyone wants to win their debut, but look good doing so. And as I, you would agree with me, I think he looked really good there, switching, and John could bang with both hands, you know what I mean? So Mays was tough in there. A bit awkward, Wani, at times. Johnny could have sometimes. There's loads to obviously improve on, but he looked really good in there. Amazing, and obviously on to yourself. What are you thinking next? Obviously, you've had some good nights here, future nights here and maybe elsewhere. What are you wanting next for yourself? Um, obviously, like you said, I boxed here a few times. I was at the O2 last. I boxed at the Cobble Box. I've been in some good venues. But as Frank said uh, after my last fight, and obviously me and my trainer Wayne, we really want to get something down on the south coast. That's my aim. Obviously the dream is St. Mary's Stadium, but uh, that's maybe a bit too big to start with. Maybe build for that for next summer now the football season's on. But so obviously you got that down the south coast, you've got the BIC in Bournemouth. That's still local to Southampton. So who knows, maybe end of November, start of December, get something down on the south coast and start building the fan base up down there. Then maybe next summer, get something down at St. Mary's. Perfect, and obviously it would be really special to do something there. Have you got a bit of a bingo card? Have you got any names that you'd want to tease that you would like to face in your home territory? Or even guys that you'd like to see on the card with you? Obviously, I, I don't really, um, I'm not a name caller, do you know what I mean? I'll f fight whoever's put in front of me. But obviously there's some big names out there, so whoever, whoever my team and Frank wants to put in front of me, obviously we'll go from there. But obviously down on the sofa, you've got obviously voices with Frank. You've got Johnny, who's obviously my stable mate. He's down there with us now. You've got Louis Edmondson down in Southampton. You've got um, Royston, obviously, like I just said. You've got Joe Pickford making a comeback now. He's from Southampton. So there's loads of fighters down there coming through. I'm sure he can make a good show and sell it out. Well, it feels like it makes complete sense, because I think, well, the, the main names as well, like Mark Chamberlain as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, and I feel like that's something where, with them Saudi trips, and I feel like that's probably something that you'd like to get involved in. He's putting that area on the map, really, and it's got to be great to see and paving the way for guys like you now to go. I want a piece of that. Yeah, obviously, sorry, I forgot about Mark. Mark's down the South Coast, obviously. He's on Portsmouth. He's on these Saudi bills, do you know what I mean? So I'm not sure he's going to stay on them, but if he did come, obviously, he's another name on the shows. But, um, yeah, whoever, mate, I'm, I just want to get a big show in Southampton. And like you said, them Saudi bills, I think every fighter wants to get on them at the moment, do you know what I mean? That's what everyone's aiming for. If it gets off of me, I'll be there. If there's a fight on the south coast, I'll be there. Do you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever gets offered to me, I'm ready to fight whenever. Amazing. Last question. After your, la your last fight you had, you did mention against Archie Sharp that that had changed a lot after the win. As well as the actual standings, do you feel it's changed anything about yourself, how you feel? Like, Do you feel like you're on another level or have you always felt like that? No, obviously, I've always knew what I'm about, do you know what I mean? But I'm not big-headed with it. I just do my talking in the ring. But I've always knew what I was about. Obviously, that was a big name, Archie Sharp. Big record, do you know what I mean? High rated. So obviously, now that I won that, I'm, I think on Boxerec, as much as whatever that means, I'm ranked second in Britain. Obviously, there's some big names in there, so I won't take too much from that. But yeah, I'm just climbing up the ranking. Obviously, now that I won that, that opened a lot of doors, do you know what I mean? Financially, bigger fights, just everything. Amazing. Well, it's always great to see you down here, and we're looking forward to seeing what's next. Yeah, now I look forward to a big end of the year.